uh, Ryan with Huckles again out here at Roshi Alpha Phase 1. We are now getting ready to dig out the whole entire area inside the greenhouse five feet deep so we can start installing our GAT system. So every day we're going to have the video on just kind of taking a view of the exact process of this and we're going to put it into a time-lapse video. We've also got the whole outer perimeter curtain drains that we've already installed. I don't know if the video can see it but down at that end is our pump station. So starting here in a few minutes, they're going to start digging. Uh, they're going to have everything shot to grade, going to five feet deep so we can get this uh, project rolling. I want to mention this is uh, day one of the indoor project for the greenhouse. And we are in April, April 9th actually. This is day two, making great progress. Looks like our machines are at fast motion every day, checking grade all the way through, moving along very nicely. Not too hot outside yet, so it's not too hot inside the building. Here we are, basically day three on the excavation of the interior of the green the installation of the GAT system. It's moving along pretty quick, rapidly actually, trying to keep the dirt stacked, piled on the outside. We got, looks like some heavy rain's going to move in, so we actually uh, place plastic and cover it every night just to be safe with it so we don't have mud. So we got to put all this dirt back in and compact it to grade. We do have some water infiltration in the bottom that is actually subbing up even from underneath our curtain drain system. So what we're looking to do with that is we'll actually install another sub drainage system underneath the GAT system and tie it into our curtain drain system when we're done. But you'll see the photos as we move forward. Day four here, making some progress. Guys are flowing good together. We've got an excavator up on top of the pile now outside in the back to try to help stack the pile of dirt a little higher, a little further back to give us room by the time we get all this dirt out so we can still move our equipment around. And as you can see with the versatility of this equipment, how well it works together inside these compact areas. There we go. The ramp is built, cleaning the edges of the banks out and then they will install some foam insulation along the sides of these walls too to help insulate and keep the heat in and coolness in once the system is up and running. Get some rock and then filter fabric over it to keep the dirt out of it. And then they'll actually tie this system into the existing curtain drain that we dug around the entire perimeter of this project because of so much groundwater infiltrating at high levels, about two feet deep. So on the outside, the water's coming through at two feet deep. In here, it's coming through right at about five, five and a half feet deep and subbing up in a couple areas. So we just want to be safe with this project. We do not want water in the bottom of this system. Used 12 inch end manifold pipes with four inch laterals that they then foam and secure together at each end after they drill in and attach. Then the 12 inch lines come up at each end so the air can transfer from one end of the greenhouse to the other. Always making little adjustments with these as they go along. I want to make sure everything is nice and tidy. Once this is done, they'll start a whole other manifold system on the next layer up. And they are rolling. We moved two loaders out here so we can really get this dirt in and keep the process at a good pace. There's that manifold now. You can see on the other end, this is the second level, second manifold system. You can see all the holes that are drilled in it and how they're going to attach. Stake everything out. Do the same process again here that's directly below it. And this is what's going to help keep that 
warm air and cool air in the ground, which the ground is in going to transfer the air back and forth, the heat and the coolness, to help equalize the temperature in this greenhouse. Once this final layer of dirt is on, they will then lay down another gravel layer, and then they will actually put some drainage right down the rows, right where the planter beds are going to be. So any extra moisture that might end up getting down to the planter beds will collect inside of another drainage system so it doesn't soak the dirt below and make a muddy marsh later on. It'll actually drain back into the same curtain drain system and the pump station that we installed. Final compaction, final grading being done on that last layer. The crew did very well on this project. Here's the filter fabric that went down so the rock does not absorb down into the clay soil over time. We wanted this separation. So then when we compact the rock, it's not going to go anywhere. It'll all stay right in this same position and we won't have the mud coming up through it later. It doesn't look like it, but there was a lot of back and hand labor that was done on this. These are our drainage that is going to be underneath the planter boxes, which you'll see shortly, that were built on top of each drainage line once the new planter boxes are in, we will then bring walking path gravel back in and spread it between the planters to bring everything up to the proper grade to where people can access it in and out. Here we go. They're going to start bringing it in. This is all done by wheelbarrow. Every ounce, every shovelful brought in by hand, spread by hand, and compacted by hand so we didn't disturb any of these planter boxes. But now they will have some nice walking paths in between each of the planter boxes make their job a little bit easier. We really appreciate these guys letting us do this project with them and for them. Uh, this was Roshi Alpha Phase 1. Uh, we will be doing some more hydro excavation to start dig a bunch of their fence post holes with our hydro excavation back trucks. Uh, we'll be putting another video out for that. They're going to be putting a bunch more fencing, and we will show you a video of that. But this project here was probably the most important project for them and for us on this site due to we're trying to use the earth and the air that we already have and save on energy and use the energy that's already being given to us. Good learning curve and a good learning project for all of us. You see our little mini loader out there moving dirt and rock for the guys, and then the wheelbarrow still. But this was a great project. This project is now complete for us. We'll be moving to the outside once you see these final wheelbarrows of rock come in. Roshi Alpha Phase 1 Indoor GAT System.